So hello, everyone. Uh, welcome back uh, for our second Facebook Live event. Uh, this time we're doing something a little bit different, uh, trying to give everyone here uh, a little bit of an introduction um, as to how we do things here, uh, how we come up with the patterns that we've got, and give a little insight into the process of developing our patterns and getting them on the sleeves and, and, and the gloves and gauntlets and a little bit of insight into just the whole design process. Uh, so again, for folks joining who may or may not have been on the first time or may or may not know who I am, uh, I'm Josh Levin, I'm the president of Lymphadivas. And uh, today I've got a new guest with me. I've got uh, Jill Gustavus, who is uh, one of our designers uh, and the one really in charge of most recently coming up with the vast majority of the patterns and designs that we have been releasing. Um, so I wanted to give her a chance to introduce herself. And hi, Vicki, uh, and good to see you again, or see your uh, text again. <laughs> um, but I wanted to give Jill a chance to introduce herself and uh, begin talking a little bit about what her process is in the design end of things with Lymphadivas. Thanks, Josh. Well, it's my pleasure to kind of join you guys and give you a little um, sneak peek into my role at Lymphivas. Um, I've been with the company okay. since 2011, and um, uh, when they came up to Philadelphia, so it's been about seven years um, that I've uh, been with the company. I started in production, and I have made my way into the design team. Um, so I am in charge of, as art director, all of the pretty pictures. So whether that is our designs each season, or um, all of our photography from product photography you see on the website to all of our styled shots that we use um, in the catalog to kind of give you a feel for, you know, um, what we're going for in our designs. Um, the, one of the fun perks of uh, my job is one of, I get to paint all day uh, <laughs> or do other artistic things um, that I do on my off time too. Um, but uh, I also get to kind of take it outside of the office as well and um, like I spend time studying people's tattoos and I spend time studying, um, you know, just studying things that I might be able to apply here. So I could be perusing online and I would see an idea that maybe I'll use on my own personal art or I'll use here on something or both. Um, as many of the flower designs, um, something that I paint personally. Um, we want to move on to a different subject? Or? Sure. Um, well, I just want to also wanted to say, you know, when Jill had said that she started off here in production, um, you know, that, that that is true. And she began working with us right when we moved up here to Pittsfield, Mass. Um, and she did begin in production, but we, we had known that she had more skills than just being able to do that production line work of getting the patterns on the garments and shifting out the door and giving her the opportunity to opportunity to be able to grow within the company to begin as a designer working uh, with uh, Anna Sokolowski, who is our creative and marketing director and learn from her and be able to really utilize some of, more of the things that she was interested in was a pleasure for us. And it isn't just design that Jill is good at. Um, you have a very small window literally uh, behind us uh, into our office here. And Jill had actually designed the layout <laughs> of, of this space that we are in now as well. Um, so this is a very talented woman <laughs> who, you know, I love and honor to be able to, to, to work with and help give her an opportunity and give us the opportunity to be able to, to do new things, come up with new designs and be able to contribute across the board to, to what we do here. Well, thanks. Yeah, my, my degree is actually in interior design. So for anyone who thinks they graduated with a degree and don't really want to do it anymore, there's, there's hope. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I fell back on a whole lifetime of art and a lot of like, you know, growing up, they say, that's not, that's not a job you go into. And I found this fantastic niche where I get to not only make art, but um, another you know, reason I really love working here is I get to give back a little bit. Um, I'm sure many of you are familiar with the saying that, you know, find what you love and give it, spend your life giving it away. But there's also a saying that says, like, never give away what you're really good at, you know. <laughs> so this is kind of my happy medium. Um, I get to listen to everyone who um, uses our sleeves and what they really want 
to see in this um, in this product, and I get to bring it to life with my own, you know, expertise and passion. And um, it really is just like something I never knew existed. <laughs> Uh, so, you know, why don't we start with, you know, as you're saying, you know, being able to do your art and turn that into one of our patterns. Um, why don't you give us a little bit of insight as to how that process begins, um, you know, from taking the concept of an idea and what are the steps that you go through in turning that idea into sleeve art? Sure. Um, well, ideas come from all sorts of different places. Um, as the consumers will see most readily is we take the surveys and any of our posts as kind of like, um, you know, starting point for if you have ideas, let us know, you know, send ideas to our info email, send ideas via comments on the surveys, comments on, you know, any of the posts really, um, we see them um, and we write them down. Um, I have a list of everything people, you know, want to see, you know, whether you've seen it yet or not. Uh, <laughs> You know, have no fear. We, we've taken note um, um, that, and then we also combine that with stuff that we see that we think may be of interest to our clients. Um, you know, we introduce things that we do a little bit of the trendy. We do a little bit of you know just things that have a core like interest. So we have all sorts of butterfly uh, sleeves, and you can just see how many different ways that you can do butterflies from tattoos to, you know, bright and pink. You know, we've done butterflies many, many different ways, but there's probably thousands more we could do them. Um, same with birds and flowers. And we're kind of like just starting to explore some new subjects. Um, this fall was actually one of the first seasons we did a design with a person on it. Um, <laughs> we released Fury, um, which is two samurai warriors um, battling it out with some bows and arrows, um, which was also kind of a first for me because I don't have experience drawing people, um, which is another reason I love this job because I get to push my own boundaries as part of um, the job. So at home, I don't have to do that, but here I should do that. Um, so it's kind of a big perk. But we take the ideas from all these different sources and we start to put them together with style ideas. And style ideas are everything from, we want a black and white design, we want a tattoo design, we want it to be really bright, or we want it to have some other um, mix of color and structure that we think will give this design life in the best, you know, in the best um, chances of being a popular design. Um, so like one example of that is we had a lot of requests for wolves um, a couple years ago. So we did a design a couple years ago in our survey and this had a wolf on it and it also had a bear on it. And it was a very artistic design, I guess you could call it. It was very uh, loose, but it didn't fare as well. It did not get released. Um, and then last fall, we went back to the drawing board with this. We had a lot more, um, requests for wolves. Um, and so we went with a full on wolf illustration. Um, so we released, <laughs> <Hi Kiku. laughs> um, and so we released Wolf Song and this has been very popular. We've actually added it to our dudes line um, along with some other um, patterns that are making their way over. But- And, and that's actually, I wanted just to mm -hmm. bring up the, the Lympha dudes line, you know, that when we're coming up and beginning, you know, the ideas of what patterns, what styles, what designs, whether it's butterfly or wolf or bear or samurai, you know, it isn't always about, is this going to be good for women or is this going to be good for men? It's more about, do we think that this is a design that all of you want? And if we think that, you know, it has a more general appeal, uh, you know, without looking at gender, then that that's great. Then, you know, it's something everyone can use, but we, we don't really go into it thinking, oh, this is for a male or this is for a female. It's more about this is a design we like that we think that you'll like. Um, you know, and as we're talking and Jill is, is explaining her process, if you have ideas or specific questions you want to ask, you know, please type it in and you know, we will do our best to get to it. 
Um, but you know, th this isn't just a, a chance for us to, to talk, it's a chance for you to provide feedback and us to respond as well. Definitely, definitely. The more material we can work with, um, the more chances we kind of have with, you know, getting you what you want. Um, and another actually example of, you know, hanging in there, uh, we'd have requests for bees in the past. Um, another one we tried to um, send out into the world a couple of years ago, didn't make it, unfortunately. Um, but on deck and a little sneak peek for next spring, um, we're trying again. <laughs> And this is just some of the artwork from uh, from the design. Um, so you have to stay tuned for the survey come next spring um, for that one. But I think this is a, <laughs> an interesting spot to talk about the mediums that you use in developing your designs. Yes. Yeah, so my main medium is watercolor, um, and everything from even the bold, you know, pattern designs that you see. A lot of them were done with this, and then I put them in the computer to kind of get them into the correct format. Um, so like Birds of Paradise, which you can see is this one here. Um, this one was a watercolor painting, um, along with other layers of watercolor painting. Um, <laughs> so there's many, many, um, layers that go into, um, you know, stuff like that. Um, I and do try other things though. And, 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 you know, we utilize, you know, the, the, the patterns that, that Joe comes up with in any range of sleeves. And, you know, Jennifer, thank you so much for, you know, the uh, tattoo sleeve, you know, thumbs up. I mean, that, the, the, the tattoos are some of our favorites, too. They're a lot of fun. You know, everyone does seem to love those as well. And, you know, we know that trying to come up with new tattoo patterns and things that look like that is incredibly important because there is such a great reaction to them. I mean, I'm a big fan of them. Whenever I go to conferences, uh, you know, for physical therapists or occupational therapists, those are the ones that I like to wear too. They're fun. Um, you know, I, I don't currently have any of my own real tattoos. And, <laughs> and you know, it, <laughs> and it's a way to, to, to have it, even if it's just temporary. And, you know, they're, they're just a, a fun way to express yourself. And we know that having different styles of tattoos provides different ways of expression for for all of you as well um, and you know that is why it is so important to hear what you guys like so that we know what direction to try and go in is you know as we had said you know there there are thousands of ways to show any given thing whether it's a butterfly um, you know or a horse or just you know gradients of color you know there's lots of ways to do that and hearing what you are interested in really helps us to to produce patterns that more people are, are interested in as well and it also um actually speaking of uh um the very different ways you can make a pattern there's also so many different people that use our products that have very huge range and taste so we're trying to cater to a little bit of everything um to try and see what what people really really want um and then the other part that you guys don't always see is how can we make this fit on a sleeve, which is um, a huge, huge aspect of our, our work here um, and in bringing you these designs. Um, um, let's see. Ooh. Which blue design, Cynthia? <laughs> and, and while you're answering, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, you're going out of your comfort zone, we know is a big thing. You know, when my sister, you know, first came out with, with lymphedivas, this was to get out of her comfort zone. You know, she didn't want those skin colors and, you know, being able to step away from either just wanting to hide it and, and have it be there and not have anybody pay attention to it or see it or talk to you about it and turning it into something that is a statement that's art, that's beautiful, where people will and, and you know, will likely come up to you, but come up to you in a positive manner about it because it is pretty and it is beautiful and, and it is art. And it's something that you can talk about in a way that isn't just about talking about a disease, but talking about it in a fashion sense and in something that's meaningful to you. So, you know, that, you know, I'm glad and I love to hear that you were able to step out of that, out of that comfort zone and try something and, you know, continue your journey and, you know, do what makes you feel good and happy. Um, you know, at the moment, uh, we do 
offer custom design. So, you know, not only do we want your feedback for general designs that are available to everybody, but if you have an idea, you can reach out to us. Uh, you know, there, there is a fee that we associate, you know, with working on a custom design. Um, but we love to be able to do that sort of work. It's fun, um, you know, and then, you know, if we think that this is something that a larger audience really might enjoy, then we'll talk about that with you as well. Uh, but, uh, you know, for, uh, you know, for those who are interested, um, and uh, I am, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, uh, Cheryl, I, I believe that, that you were the one, you know, who had asked. Uh, you know, you can absolutely give us a call. Our number here is 866-411-DIVA. That's 3482. So 866-411-3482. And uh, we would be happy to talk with you about working on a custom pattern. And Jennifer, uh, you know, the Starry Night Sleeve, you know, obviously, uh, you know, as wonderful an artist <laughs> as Jill is, uh, she's not Van Gogh. <laughs> But, uh, you know, being able to use some of those great artists um, and, you know, their and their works is something that, that we love to try and do and, or incorporate their works into a design or a portion of those works, uh, you know, that that's fun for us, too. It isn't just about coming up with new designs, but it's also looking at designs that are out there that that, that we can use for ours, too. Um, no, it's definitely, and it's, I feel like um, the master sleeves that we have are just great, like, mm -hmm. um, staple pieces that, you know, you can fall back on. Um, I kind of like to, like, categorize our designs into, like, very conservative patterns, into, you know, like, our laces and that sort of such. Um, and then, you know, you've got your bold patterns in, in the tattoo, tattoo, tattoo range, you know, something that says, look at me. Um, but then there's a lot that we like to also put in this middle range where, um, you know, maybe you're more comfortable with, you know, doing something that's a classic design or that's, you know, something that's not necessarily like it can blend in or can stand out depending on how you want to dress it. And that's a huge part of what we do too, is just kind of like um, catering our sleeves to like different, different needs. Uh, so, you know, we, we looked a little bit into the initial process, you know, of, you know, with Jill using a lot of watercolor or looking at other art that, you know, that that's out there. But uh, why don't we talk a little bit about uh, the conversion of art to sleeve? All right. So you've seen kind of like what they look like. So this is the painting <laughs> that I did for Birds of Paradise. So we, a lot of times we scan this in. Um, and as you can see, that's not what the sleeve looks like. Um, a lot of times we tend to bump up colors so that the sublimation um, will really produce and give you the best result. Um, I also and by sublimation, uh, you know, <laughs> that, that that is a process that a lot of people are not familiar with. Um, it is a way of transferring a pattern. Uh, what we use is, the process is called dye sublimation, and what we do with that is the ink is a ink that, when heated, it turns from an ink into a gas. And then that gas goes directly on to the fibers of the um, of the sleeve, so that you know it's not like a silk screen where the colors sit on top of it and everything kind of gets linked together. But it's a direct transfer of the ink um, into a gas onto the yarns, so that we're able to get a beautiful set of colors into the sleeve, but really not create any issues with the compression of the sleeve is at the end of the day, you know, the, it isn't just about the pretty sleeve. These are medical devices. They have a job to do. And that is what we are most uh, concerned about. Uh, but then on top of that, we want to make them fun so that you want to wear them and not just need to wear them. Uh, Lorraine has a question about holiday patterns. Um, I'll um, let you answer that one. <laughs> we have had holiday patterns in the past. Um, they were discontinued. I've few years ago um, a lot of people were opting actually for we have a crystal designs for a few of the holidays um, and then you know but with interest you know always send you know your interest to either our info or in any of our social media um, you know posts and reach outs and you know we're definitely always open to considering um, they they didn't do as well as um, we hoped but um, there's always a chance that we could maybe design a better one in the future and as you know, Cynthia, you saw that you just got the uh, Luna and Sapphire, um, you know, which are 
those are two of my favorite sleeves. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the, the, the colors on them are, are great. And that's, you know, determining colors is always a tough one. You know, we have, there, there are some colors that we tend to use a lot of, and then there's some that, that we don't. And usually every season we try and dip into that less used color palette uh, to try and find something that, that, that works. And it's tough. I mean, I think that the, uh, the Fury sleeve was a great example of that, and, you know, that, that I'm Correct. hoping, you know, does well. You know, it has a lot of the uh, of reds in them, which is typically not something that we have been that successful with in the past. And so, you know, being able to, to, to try and get out of our comfort zone uh, to try and find, you know, colors and patterns that, that work for us and for you um, is something that we are always trying to do. reading the questions <laughs> so an, an ethereal angel pattern so uh, you know and thank you, you know, Cynthia for, for for asking uh, about this one oh uh, you know it's definitely something I'll write down and I'll see how it fits on the sleeve um you know if and if you have a specific idea in mind like how you want to see that you know on the sleeve you know send as many details as you can to like the info at lymphadivas.com um you know that way if you have something already in mind, you know, we'd be happy to hear all your details. Um, and, you know, a lot of it comes down to um, how we fit the designs on the sleeve. Um, sometimes it takes us a couple of tries to, um, to get it so that it looks really good. Um, because the one thing that we have to keep in mind that tattoo artists do not have to keep in mind um, is that um, we not only have to deal with, you know, the seams on the, well, the seams, they're seamless, but um, the design does produce a seam on the garment, but also, um, you know, these garments are going to stretch, you know, maybe not in the same way for every person. So we don't want a design to look great on, you know, my arm when I'm designing it, but then someone else wears it and you, it's not quite legible or, you know, something like that. So we'll definitely keep in mind um, the angels um, and, you know, we'll, we always try and work on each subject specifically. And Jill, love that you like the hummingbird and the Celtic. Uh, you know, getting compliments is is why we do this. <laughs> uh, you know, the because you are getting out of your comfort zone and trying to get out there and you know put some art on your arm. You know, we are wanting to make it so that it is attractive. And as you know, Jill was saying, you know, this isn't you know like a tattoo artist where that you know you, that medium of the arm isn't really changing. Um, you know when you put these sleeves on, they are stretching out. It changes the way that the patterns and the colors look. And, and we have to be aware of that. And when, you know, Jill was talking about, you know, that there is, uh, you know, a, a darker line that shows up on the sides. And, uh, you know, uh, Andre, this is the Fury pattern that I was holding up before. Um, you know, we, you can see it a little bit in there that there's a little bit of a darker line right down that center um and you know years ago we had tried doing either printing some solid colors and had tried a, a wider variety of skin tones and that that was difficult because it was producing that darker line people either thought it was a seam or they weren't happy with you know the overall color because of it and so, you know, we are always trying to improve the way that we put our patterns on, you know, whether it's looking at different machinery that we use to either print the colors, um, you know, in preparation for pressing them, whether it's looking at the different inks, you know, we are always trying to do what we do better. And knowing what you don't like is just as important as knowing what you do like. Uh, you know, we can't do things better if we don't know what we're doing wrong. Um, but, uh, you know, oftentimes, you know, not just with that line, but we make mistakes. We're not perfect. Uh, you know, you know, getting the patterns on them and making them perfect is what we try and do here. And, you know, we very much have multiple stages where these garments are looked at to make sure that they are perfect before they go out. If we see that a color or a pattern didn't come out at the level that we expect ourselves to produce, then we turn those into seconds um, and sell them at half price through the website. Uh, and, you know, Carrie, uh, you know, I understand that, you know, 
not everyone can get the, the, those full price ones. And those seconds are a great opportunity. Um, and a lot of the times, most people besides us can't even see where those <laughs> problems are. I mean, every times we make some big mistakes, uh, <laughs> but not all of the time. And you know, there th those seconds are a great way to get our garments at a much lower price. You know, and potentially get one that you know, especially when it's stretched out and fold and fold on, no one is going to really be able to see a difference there. And sometimes the seconds are even just it wasn't just the way that it was designed to be so it may not even be like a fold or um, a patch of ink that's missing it might just be like i don't really care for the way that looks <laughs> it was just off slightly I mean, when we when we applied the pattern uh, i mean we, we have a very high degree of quality that, that that we hold ourselves to you know both in terms of the compression as well as the as the patterns um you know it, it presents a lot of effort to do that but you know, the, we understand that there is a cost to this and that you need to wear them. And, you know, we, we want to make sure that we are getting out what you are expecting, which is a beautiful product that works well. Um, kind of in keeping with, you know, the amount of, um, you know, perfection we like to hold in our production um, department um, in the design pro, we actually have, you know, something similar where, you know, we press and practice each design through revisions and revisions. So, you know, some of the patterns that you see in the survey, we might have, you know, been able to achieve those with, you know, two revisions. Um, some, um, we've gone over 30 um, and it still didn't make the survey. Um, you know, we weren't happy with it. We didn't think that it was the best that we could bring you. Um, so it doesn't make it or, you know, we, we do put in that time so that it looks its best. And so that what you see is, you know, the, the, the best that um, we could bring you should it make it through the survey. Um, basically, the sleeves that are you see pictures of, they're ready to go. Um, you know, they're, you know, there's no more design work to be done besides, you know, creating them for all of the sizes. <laughs> um, so, like, um, we were talking a little about our fall collection. Sure. Let's bring it over to that. Um, yeah, let's start with a pre survey. Um, you know, the, you know, Jill had mentioned that, you know, that we do send out a, a survey, you know, through our Facebook and our other social media accounts so that you can see a number of designs that Jill has created that we haven't yet decided on the final ones. You know, if participating and being able to, to give your input is something that you are interested in, uh, you can go onto our website and sign up for our email list and then you will get notifications for all of the upcoming surveys to be able to do that. Um, and, you know, those surveys are kind of fun for us. You know, we, we have our thoughts, we have our, our ideas, you know, obviously that Jill used in the development of the patterns, but, you know, this is the, the first opportunity that we have to get them in front of all of you uh, so that we can see and hear which ones are resonating, which ones are you're interested in, um, and a chance for you to provide, you know, some comments and feedback as to what you do and don't like about them individually as well. So, you know, the getting that survey out there is, uh, is very important for us and, you know, eventually leads to the final set of patterns that, that we have chosen. Um, and uh, let's go and see what the new fall patterns are. Sure. And actually know that I still get excited when the survey comes out. I know what all the patterns are. You know, I've, I've been with them for six months, um, <laughs> but I still get excited when the survey comes out because I like those. Um, so our fall collection for 2018 um, kind of had some few new things, um, new things for me and new things for the company and for you guys. Um, and we went with a little bit, we definitely had like a more red palette. Um, we did make some you know, improvements that we were able to get these red colors that are a little bit, you know, a little bit snappier. Um, and so we'll start with them, um, and I could do them in any particular order. Uh, <laughs> this is where they are. <laughs> and thanks, Emily, for voting. You know, the, you, know, you know, we love that you love helping it. And as Jill said, you know, she loves seeing them too. Yeah, no, it's, it's so much fun. I actually, uh, a lot of my family like to like see it come through. They're like, oh, that's what you've been doing. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> um, so this is Wander. And Wander is based off of um, Uzbekistan um, Upaz. And it's a woven, it's actually, I do so much research when I go into like any sort of pattern. Um, you know, I did the, how they make them. It's like the thread is woven beforehand and then it's threaded. So they have to know exactly what the pattern is, but it's just, it's so interesting. Um, so I made up my own here. <laughs> and um, so this is um, on a white sleeve and it 
we didn't know like each of our patterns can either go on a white sleeve on a beige sleeve on a mocha sleeve on a fuchsia sleeve you know there's a few different ways that you know the patterns work and that's also something we think about during the design process we've had many patterns switch from being pressed on a white sleeve to a beige sleeve or back depending on you know how we think that that design is best presented um, and then moving on from there we have santa fe which is a um, diamondback rattlesnake along with a spear skull with the um, uh, new mexico uh, state symbol there in the middle and those friendly little lizard down at the bottom <laughs> and then um some prickly pear cactus um this one was more we were looking at you know colors that had really been um in the forefront of a lot of you know the artists that i follow design things that we follow and then um just some subject matter we think is just really beautiful um and we also have you know we sometimes try and like design something for a particular region or a particular you know it kind of groups everything together it really gives it an essence of like this is the spirit of the sleeve you know it is santa fe you know or it is um you know the southwest or um etc um this is another beige pattern sleeve and this is desdemona and this is not quite a lace but it is definitely a um applique almost pattern um that is nice and dark and it kind of can go a few different ways if you were to style it nice reflective pattern um and then as we were talking about earlier this is fury um and fury uh is a samurai sleeve on white um and that was really just we really wanted to try something new um we really wanted to get a design and see what you guys thought of it see how it would kind of go over and then we kind of like take it from there and see you know and how we wanted to um progress with it but the real spirit of this one is the archery um in it and we definitely um did a bit of research into you know what the samurai you know were and what they wore and um a little bit more into that culture too which is also one of the perks about my job because i love learning and i love <laughs> I, I love uh um we love it too kiku <laughs> <laughs> um i love doing the research as much as i love doing the art um and the final one is this is nightfall and this is um yeah, uh, this is all sketches. These are all drawings I did just with like a pencil and ink. And um, this is one of my favorite tattoo designs out of this collection because this is definitely the sort of subject matter that I love. Um, we also get a lot of requests for owls. We get, you know, we get requests for spooky design sleeves. And this was just a great way to bring it together, especially for Halloween that's kind of coming up. But it's not quite Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> There's no pumpkins. Um, but yeah no we, andrew we love the bright red colors too it's definitely uh a, a, gr a great uh a great gradient in the background <laughs> and we also do try and do a lot of range when we come out with the spring summer and fall winter patterns so that they aren't just all the same types of colors or same looks you know so those bright reds you know also you know in conjunction with the more muted tones of you know nightfall and, and desdemona so that we can get you know that very different looks for a lot of different people out there you know we know that people have very different styles that they like to wear and different clothes that they want to wear them with and you know we we really try and give a lot of different options um you know sometimes i think that we've got too many uh you <laughs> know, we, we keep about 100 patterns uh, active at any given time and, and it's a lot uh, but on the flip side, we know that there's a lot of there's a need for a lot of different options out there. And so we're always trying to balance having a lot of options without prevent pr providing so many that you're left not knowing what one to get. No, but yeah, Jennifer, I'm glad that you love that last one as well. Yeah. Uh, you know, Nightfall's a very cool one. Uh, I mean, I, I'm a big fan of her sketching in that. Uh, you know, the the owls are very cool. I mean, I. Uh, you know, right now we're getting a lot of owls in, in our area up in Western Massachusetts. Uh, just a couple nights ago, just outside my house, it sounded like there were a couple battling over territory, which is always interesting that sets my dogs <laughs> off. <laughs> I know the doggies are here in the background. They would, they would, Archie Bo would probably be right up on us. But, uh, um, yeah, and like you were saying with the fall patterns, and we do try and tend to 
bring a balance to fall patterns. They tend to be a little darker, a little more um, fall colors. Um, and then on the flip side, our spring patterns are usually a little bit brighter, a little bit, you know, less cabin fever. Um, mm -hmm. And we do tend to like the subject matter will sometimes kind of compel us to hold a pattern. Maybe, maybe we've already done one for the spring selection, but the colors we think would do better for fall. So we'll hold it. Um, you know, we design a, almost a full year um, in advance um, at, at times, you know, as we creep closer, it tends to be a little bit closer, but um, you know, I'm, you know, working on spring, the end of like our spring collection now. Um, I had started a little bit into fall, um, but we went back to our spring collection because you guys gave us some feedback on the survey. So we're changing a few things just to kind of steer it more towards what was requested. Which means a few more tattoos. <laughs> and Emelina, thank you for appreciating the research that, 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 that Jill does, you know, put into this. You know, th this isn't just about coming up with the design and throwing it out there. Um, yeah. You know, that, that isn't who we are, just like it's not just about coming up with a sleeve and throwing it out there. You know, we are very cognizant of wanting to have a great product, you know, whether it is in the construction of it or in the design of it. Um, you know, we, we are very thoughtful about what we do here. I think it's one of the things that, you know, makes it for me a company that I'm very proud of, but it, it, it's also about doing something that, that, that we all believe in and that isn't just about getting something out the door. Um, and to do that, you've got to put some effort in. Um, but, uh, you know, Candace was asking about whether or not, whether or not it's possible to design something sheer or see-through. Um, That's a you. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, th there are different yarns that we could look into for that. Um, you know, I actually hadn't really thought about that. I think some of just an initial off-the-cuff concern about a more sheer design is its durability. Uh, but, you know, looking at something that is a sheer... <laughs> Is interesting, um, and you know I think that we we can and should look at that as we look into research and development of new products. So thank you. Yeah, that was definitely a cool question. I never thought of that. <laughs> and hi, Fiona. Uh, you know, someone who's just joined is has been uh, very often a hand and arm model. Uh, if you look in our catalog, you can see uh, her hands and arms there. Um, but uh, you know, love to. Love to see you here, Fiona, and uh, hope everything is well. Um, and I think, you know, uh, we are kind of finishing up here. Uh, if there are any last minute questions, we would be happy to take them. Uh, but otherwise, stay tuned and we will let you know when the next live event will be happening and what we'll be talking about. And I think that uh, that pretty much wraps it up for uh, today. I did just want to say, you know, for everyone in the path of the oncoming storms, uh, please stay safe and we're all thinking of you uh, and have an excellent day and rest of your week, everybody. Thank well, you. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> Bye. Wait,